Welcome back to the one and only Cruise First TV. It's such a busy time now for our whole team. So thank you for being there. There's such an amazing choice out there right now, which is why cruise lines are always looking to stand out from the crowd. And this show will top the whole jolly lot as we're talking the world's biggest cruise ship icon of the seas from Royal Caribbean. Now you can't fail to have seen her make headlines around the world. So let's find out more and get you on board by going to the highest of highs in Royal Caribbean and wel welcoming Ben Bolden to the show from Royal Caribbean. Ben, good to see you. Where do we begin? My word, Royal Caribbean, it just never stops and it, it just gets, keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You had the world's news cruise at the, uh, the launch of Icon, so she really is a big deal in every single respect. You know how nosy I am, by the way, sorry, first question. It's like two billion dollars or something that was spent to bring Icon to reality. I've, I've seen that number muted, it's certainly a big number. It's Absolutely. huge, um, isn't it? Yeah, but it's only Royal Caribbean that would do it. Yeah, I think historically we have definitely spent perhaps more on some of our ships than, than others have, and, and we pride ourselves on that. I think innovation and pushing the boundaries has always been part of the DNA of Royal Caribbean Group. Um, and I think particularly the Royal Caribbean brand, if you think about the classes of ships that we've had, whether it was quantum class, which includes ships that your guests will be familiar, like Anthem of the Seas, mm -hmm. or whether it's Oasis class ships that Perhaps people have seen Harmony, Symphony, Wonder. Each time one of those comes along, it gets better and it gets more exciting. And we feel the same as employees of the group. Um, that reveal of, of a new ship is, you just, you just know it's gonna be better than the last one. I mean, this literally, the echoes are still going around the globe for, for Icon, aren't they? It's yeah, I mean, incredible. I think kudos to our PR teams and our social teams. And of course, the world of social media is just exploding and of course it's far easier to amplify your products these days than it perhaps was 10 years ago mm. um, but I think the choice of influencers if you like the choice of media outlets the choice of social media um, people that we've got involved has really enabled us to amplify icon to a generation perhaps that we wouldn't typically have gone to I mean my kids follow Mr Beast and mm. Mr Beast is love him or hate him, he's enormous uh, on social media. And of course, that generation is seeing icon footage through his eyes mm. and, it, and they find it hugely aspirational. So um, yeah, the coverage has been absolutely overwhelming. And to your point, it just keeps coming. Yeah. Um, the fact that we're talking about this now still, and it was in January, um, is, a, is, a, is a tribute to that. Oh, well, we're going to be talking, having this conversation for years and years and years. And you might notice uh, actually in front of us that there are uh, lots and lots of goodies on the table and uh, you've got the chance to win all of those goodies. We'll, we'll talk to you about that in a wee while, but I want to spend every minute that Ben is here talking about icon of the sea. So our first offer, which will get us straight on board, is Caribbean Delights with a Miami stay over 10 nights, starting on the 22nd of January in 2026. So lots of time to look forward to this one, but you can go much sooner, of course. We're gonna fly over to Miami first for a two night hotel stay there, somewhere I imagine you've been to many times, Ben, Miami? Yeah, absolutely. What's your highlight? Um, well, you, I think South Beach is a special place. If yeah. you've not been before, it's kind of one of those iconic places you feel like you want to go to. Yeah. And it doesn't disappoint, whether it's the Art Deco buildings, whether it's the great food, whether it's the Spanish flair, um, whether it's the personality of the place. Uh, and if you've got teenagers, I mean, yeah, they go nuts it. for it. Absolute nuts. My 15 year old will be looking at that offer going, right, that is what we wanted to do this year. Yeah, a couple of days in chill out in Miami first. Yeah, exactly. Uh, before cruising and, and here she is. and. The great thing is, Ben, we've got half an hour, which is brilliant, so we can kind of take our time here, but where do we begin with a ship like this? Let's talk about who Royal Caribbean Cruising is for in terms of a UK audience. Who, would, who are we pointing this to, primarily? So, it is, it is absolutely, first and centre, a great family product. Yeah. So, Royal Caribbean, I think, is a vacation company now. We may have started as a cruise company, we may have seen ourselves as a cruise company, but today we're a vacation company. And I think if you're a family that goes on and, and, and prides yourself on having a really terrific family vacation where you have shared moments and you build memories with your loved ones, 
our product enables you the most incredible canvas to create that. So I think if you, if you are a family, um, whether it's a multi-generational family mm -hmm. or whether you're a family that perhaps doesn't have kids yet, but you're starting out, this is just a great canvas for you to do so many different things. Michael Bailey, our president and CEO, always says, we're for everyone, E for everyone. There, there is not anyone out there who shouldn't come on our product and have yeah. the most amazing time. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think families we're great for, younger couples we're great for. It's for people who are young at heart and want to get out and do stuff, be active, chill one day, thrill the next. And, and I, I think actually, I mean, and, and the figures kind of, you know, um, bear this out as well, that the average age of cruise passengers has come down so dramatically over the last sort of five to ten years, which is brilliant. And actually, I'm hoping I take some of the credit for that as well by kind of telling you on a regular basis for the last 15 years, go and do it now. Don't wait for significant milestones in your life, particularly after everything we've seen in the last few years. You know, life is for living. You've got to get out there and live it. And actually, a, a Royal Caribbean life as well is so kind of... I want to say kind of all-consuming as well because once you get on one of these ships you know and some people will say okay the big ship thing I'm not so sure I'm not so sure if that's for me and I've kind of heard that a lot over the years I've got on one of your larger ships and I've gone actually you know what once you're on board you don't really have that feeling of vastness you're so encompassed by what's going on on board and you just think I love this I almost forgot we were on water you do, and, and I, I'm one of those people. Yes. I mean, I genuinely, before I got involved in this, I would have been one of those people that says, I can't, I, that's not for me. Yeah. It does not feel like that. No. And I think the, the USP that Royal Caribbean have above everyone else is the way in which people disperse around the ship. Yes. So there is certainly, I can't deny there's lots of people on board, but you never really feels like that. No. You can go to Central Park, which we'll talk a little bit about later. Oh, but so serene. You can be sat there, and if you can see 30 or 40 people, yeah. that would be a lot. And, and, it's and to so create serene. that kind of atmosphere yeah. on... On a ship. Yes. When you're at sea. I mean, you can literally sail between ports of call, particularly in the Caribbean, and you don't even know you've moved. No. But the beauty of cruise has always been the case. You wake up somewhere different each day, and you have the most incredible view from your stateroom or your guest room or your balcony or however people want to describe it. That's a good point, actually, because you know a lot of people do have a picture in their mind that you know because there is you, you see the headline number of passengers, uh, and you automatically think to yourself, okay, well I'm going to spend most of that cruise then in a queue one way or the other, and you really do not. You always get the opportunity to do what you want when you want and actually sometimes you are looking around the ship i've been on some of the, the bigger royal caribbean ships and you kind of look around and you do kind of think well where is everyone because the the configurations of the ships are so clever and there are so many different areas to be that not everyone sort of converges on one thing at one time which is wonderful um so immersive the entertainment as well we have to talk about entertainment oh. because royal caribbean i think head and shoulders spend more on innovating entertainment than anyone out there. Absolutely. I think um, it's one of the things I personally, my family personally, enjoys the most about our cruises is the entertainment is incredible. And the bit we never talk enough about is it is absolutely all included. Yes. I mean, if I take my family to the theatre and you look at tickets, yes. and I looked at a show the other night in London, it was going to be £250 per person for a ticket, not particularly good ticket. Yeah. So for five of us, that's £1,250. Yeah. Pounds. Our shows are equally of that standard and they're included in your holiday. Which, which is amazing. And, and I quite often make the point when we're talking about this on the show as well, that I think some people look at the upfront cost of a cruise and they think, oh gosh, that feels like a big number. And they forget that when they go on a, a low cost budget holiday where you're paying as you go, that those numbers really rack up. Let's just run through the itinerary of, mm. of this seven nights here uh, that we've got. So we've got a day at sea. Uh, remember, uh, out of, where did we come out of? We came out of Miami, of course, didn't we? Into Costa Maya in Mexico, and then along to Roatan in Honduras. These are all amazing places, by the way. Um, incredible experiences that you can have along the way. Of course, you will have amazing excursion opportunities with Royal Caribbean that are very in step with the way that you are cruising as well. 
we'll go into Cozumel in Mexico and there are again so many different experiences um, that you can be enjoying in Cozumel uh, itself as well. I'm really, really looking, look, looking forward myself to seeing it soon. And then we have got the Pièce de Résistance. You know, this is where Royal Caribbean, for me in the cruising world, feels like the runaway train. They never stop innovating. So ex taking really a mirror image of the experience you're having on the ship already, and then creating this paradise island, but it's not just a beach to sit on for the day. No, again, it's that whatever you want it to be, it can be. So this is, this is believe it or not, we MPS our guest experience. We, uh, we get all of our guests to score us on all of the different oh, destinations, okay. right. the experiences yes. on board. This is the highest rating destination we have in the world, bar none. Yeah. Our guests absolutely love it. We have guests going, you know that cruise I went on to Perfect Day? Are you going to do a cruise where you get a perfect day like two or three times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It genuinely gives you a perfect day. And I was a little bit cynical when I first went. I was like, really, is it going to be a perfect day? Really, really, really? Okay, it so absolutely is. Okay, so talk it's me through insane. your day. What, what did you see? What did you think? Well, so it splits in two, really. It's, it's the ultimate thrill or it's the ultimate chill. Okay. So if you want the ultimate chill, yes. you can have soft, sandy beaches and you can throw a towel down and lie on it. Is that your thing? That's partly my thing. Okay. But then you get sort of teased by the Coco Beach Club where you've got cabanas over water with butlers and your own personal slide into this beautiful clear water with fish swimming around you. Yeah. And you can have a lobster lunch and you can have your Aperol spritz or a glass of wine and it's all beautiful and there's infinity pools. Oh. Or, or yeah. if, if that's not floating your boat, you can walk out to one of the bars that sat out at sea and you can sit around a bar and just chill out with friends and just chat. So the, you can literally do it however you want to do it. Now, if you want the ultimate thrill, we've got everything from Devil's Peak, which is like the highest water slide in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, yeah. Um, Did to you do it? Pirate, yes, I have done it. Well Hold done. on to your shorts would be my advice. <laughs> the, the, we've, we've got the kids' play area and aqua park, which they go to, which is phenomenal for them. There's wave pools. Yeah. You can jet ski around the island. Okay. You can do whatever you want to do. There's yeah. a zip line that takes you across the island. Brilliant. There is even, and you can see it in the pictures there, a hot air balloon that takes you up high enough that you can see the entirety of the island from oh, above. Oh, you get in that as well? You can get in that oh, and I go up. Oh, I thought it was just there to kind of like, like you no, know, part of the decoration. No, it's absolutely oh, okay. one of the excursions. I think you can see people in it on the screen just now. Oh, my word. That is a truly incredible experience. And from up there, you can see all of the island and how it's, and how it's developed and grown. But it is a truly wonderful experience. And you just don't see anybody come off without a massive smile. But the yeah. biggest thing is yeah. the staff on that island. Yeah. Um, we have nearly 700 staff that live on that island now. And they are so amazing. And it is them, as always, like yeah. it's the crew on our ships. Yeah. It's them that makes the experience a level wow. above anything else. Do you know what? I never, I never imagined that there would be that many people actually working. It just shows you, doesn't it, that when you're looking at the footage, it scratches the surface. It shows you just literally a little peek through the letterbox. We need to get there, don't we? Um, on this offer, by the way, uh, deposit today of just £249 each. That includes the flight from the UK out to Miami. We've got two nights in a hotel there to chill out, relax before your mammoth icon cruise of seven nights in the Caribbean, including that perfect day at Coco Cay in Key, Key, Day, K, K, that's it, perfect day at Coco K. Needs to rhyme, Derek, that's, they named it that for a reason. Um, and here comes your incredible price tag. Remember, deposit today of just 249 pounds each, and here is your prize for the most incredible holiday. And, and it's interesting because the way that holiday will pay back to you in terms of everything being so easy and effortless. And actually, the, if you were to value with a little notepad along the way all the things that normally you would be paying out for and tallying that up, you look at it at the end of your cruise and you'd be like, so glad we did this. There are other dates from now through to April in 2026 as well for this itinerary. And we have regional flights available as well. That's based on London flights. Let's look at the upgrades. 
while you're on board as well. So if you want to go up to Ocean View, up to Balcony and up to Suite. And it's slightly different obviously on the big Royal Caribbean ships as well because Balcony can be facing out, facing in. Yes. You could be facing into Central Park on a balcony. You can indeed. And, and everybody has their favourite. Yeah. Me personally, I like to be able to see the sea. Yes. I think one of the pure joys of cruising is that you absolutely can wake up or yeah. you can get up in the night and, and just look out to sea. It's really beautiful. It's so funny. You do. Me, that's what Sometimes I in the middle of the night, don't you? You're just kind of like, I'm just going to get out on that balcony just because I've woken up and I need to just kind of... Well, I like to sleep with the balcony door open. You can hear the waves mm. lapping against the side of the ship gently, and it's just a very, very you sleep better. Yes. On a on a well, cruise sea air, vacation, they, they say sea with air, sea air yeah. than than you ever do. It's my best week's sleep of the year. Yeah. Is when I'm on a ship. Fantastic. Uh, listen, we need to give away these prizes, don't we? Because we have got a big, big Royal Caribbean bumper prize pack, including the uh, Monopoly from uh, Royal, the Royal Caribbean edition. That's hard to get hold of, let me tell you. And there's also an Icon of the Seas uh, jigsaw puzzle in there, which even challenged you, Ben, didn't it, I believe? Yes, uh, it did. If you would like to win this complete prize pack, there's all kinds of goodies, a big fluffy toweling robe and all sorts Royal Caribbean. If you would like to win it, all you need to do right now, no question, no challenge, just email uh, with your name and your address through to studio at cruisefirst.tv uh, and we will pick a winner and send one of you all of these good, gorgeous goodies here. So uh, get an entry in right now, studio at cruisefirst.tv. Right, next off, our awesome offer is a bit of a double whammy holiday this actually for October this year. We've got a week in Orlando and then a week on Icon of the Seas, marriage made in heaven, let me tell you. We'll fly you first on the 12th of October from the UK out to Orlando and we've got seven nights uh, stay there on International Drive in a Hotel. So the hotel's covered, you decide what you want to do um, from there. Um, I mean, this is just perfect, isn't it? I mean, as a combination holiday, Orlando is a great kind of lead up, isn't it, doing the parks? Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you're a thrill seeker or you're a family with kids, having the ability to do some of the Florida parks yeah. with a cruise, I mean, I think it's just perfect. Yeah, and, um, and, and a week as well means that you've got, you've got no rushing around. You can do all of your preparation in advance. You can, you can buy your park tickets. You can plan your days. And actually what a lot of people do on seven nights is they have a park day and then have a chill day and then, you know, and, and do it that kind of way. Some people just can't resist. They park after park after park, so that you've seen them all. Yeah, I think you, you can overdo it, but a beauty of having the cruise at the end is you can then relax yeah, chill. and breathe. Yes. And it's like you're there and you can do as yeah. much or as little as you want to. Or if you've got kids, they're completely safe. You can let them go wild whilst you chill out. And, so. that's, and that's the great thing as well. And I think sometimes, you know, we, we talk about the experiences there are to have on board. And of course, you know, with, with Icon, you know, we've got a list of about 10,000 that we could talk to you about right now. But actually, I think what people need to value the most on something like this is that this is effort free. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, sometimes when you've been on a holiday, you must have been on a family holiday where you thought that there are gaps in the day where you're like, we're twiddling our thumbs here. We're waiting for the next meal, basically. <laughs> you know, on a, on, a, on a ship like this, that if happen. you've got 16 of you with you, you can all be doing different things. Yeah, there, there is so many different things to do and um, you won't be waiting for anything ever. Um, I mean, there is entertainment throughout the day, at multiple different levels. At night, there's three or four or five different shows that you can yeah. see. There's over 40 restaurant, bars, cafes on Icon of the Seas. Yes, so and, some, and some new venues that we've not seen before on, yeah. on other ships as well. So, so yeah. two, that leads me to two questions, because obviously, um, you know, you're the top man for Royal Caribbean here in the UK across Europe and big mm. territories as well. Uh, but you're also a human being as well, which is yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So nice your favourite restaurant on Icon, what um, was your highlight? My favourite, I have to say, is Azumi. So okay. I'm a bit of a Japanese food fan, right. so particularly keen on sushi. Yep. But I also love the teppanyaki experience. So um, now on on Icon, we have a really terrific teppanyaki side of Izumi, mm -hmm. where you can sit in groups of up to 12 mm -hmm. around the chef, yeah. and it's a real show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I love that. And I mean, I, whilst I've seen it a couple of times, I'm, I'm never bored of taking people who haven't done it yeah, and yeah, watching yeah. their reactions, because yeah, it is yeah. such a brilliant experience. Yeah. I remember having 
Uh, I've done it for my wife's birthday before, and I've done it for my kid's birthday before. It's, it's fab. Yeah, yeah. But on the other side, you've got this really lovely sushi restaurant mm -hmm. where you get um, fantastic sushi from uh, Izumi. Um, and of course, on Icon, one of the new features is we actually have Izumi to go. So we have like a little takeaway kiosk. So yes, you can this actually is in go Central and Park, yeah, isn't you it? can take your sushi and then go and sit in the park, which is also just a nice little extra. Um, so that, that concept evolves, and I love the food. But I mean, I should talk about a couple of the others. There's Chops Grill is our steak restaurant. Yeah. It's actually across the fleet. Legendary. It's legendary. Yeah. And that's still there. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you now, it's still one of the most popular because yeah. it's that good. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the new concepts that is on Icon is the Empire Supper Club. Oh, yes. Now I saw this. It looks super glamorous. It is. I mean, it's, it's the only venue that Royal Caribbean has a really strict dress code on. Okay. So you've got to really dress up. This is about okay. going big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about having the nice suit on. This is about the ladies having the nice dress on for the evening. Uh, boa feathers are absolutely fine. Brilliant. You can wear a hat if you want, gentlemen. This is about getting into the vibe. It's sort of, I think it's a little bit like a great Gatsby type. Yes. It's jazz music. It's yeah. very intimate. There's yeah. only, I think there's only 28 covers. Don't quote me on that. Wow. 28 covers, it's about an eight course curated meal um, and it comes paired, not with wine, but with cocktails. So each course is paired with a cocktail to complement that course. Oh my word. Okay. It is a real okay. experience and certainly one worth looking at if you are lucky enough to go on Icon. Oh, incredible. See, again, with this, we'll go through the um, destinations on this seven night um, cruise, but almost I don't want to say this in the Caribbean if you've never been before. I haven't been before yet, as you know, but the destinations are almost incidental on a cruise like this, aren't they? Um, they're incredible. Of course, every island in the Caribbean has its own flair, its own character, you know, a, a, its own um, attractions and, and things and amazing excursions. And again, I, I think what you were talking about before, Ben, about, you know, perfect day. Here we are back at Coco Cay. Um, I hadn't honestly comprehended that 700 of your crew could be operating on this. So this is really, this is a lot bigger than we think it is in our mind or even from looking at the footage. Yeah, no, this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a resort almost. Mm -hmm. It's not a resort you stay on, but it's a resort you visit for a full day and mm -hmm. it caters for all of your needs across that day. And of course, you, you've, you've already got your crews and it's all part of it. So. Yeah. Your, your access around the park is just a given because of your, the fact you're on the cruise. So mm -hmm. you get off the cruise and you just walk straight into Perfect Day and you're straight on. And we've got a, a pier, we have the two ships come in side by side. Um, yeah, and so that's the other thing as well. This isn't, this isn't like a tender from some no, distance you've where not, you're waiting. No, no, you're literally walking you're straight off. There's no coaches, no buses. Of course, if you, if you need some assistance, there are vehicles yeah, and course. support yeah. available. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's no transfer here. You just literally walk off and it's a perfect day. And that's yeah, part yeah. of it. Yeah. I mean, if you think about, we eradicate stress points. Yes. That's what we're trying to do with our destination development, with our beach clubs, with everything we're doing. We're trying to make your holiday as seamless as possible. And there, are, and there are other beach resorts coming as well, aren't there? Yes, there are. We, we've announced, I think, that we're working on a beach club for Nassau mm -hmm. um, in the Bahamas, which I think will be fantastic. Yep. Um, and we're hoping that's 2025, mm -hmm. so not so far away. Uh, we recently just announced development of a beach club in Cozumel in Mexico, okay. which I think is really going to be fantastic. Um, and um, yeah more to come in this space over the coming years but perfect day is is fantastic and um is it's just such a joy to be there and, mm. and i think it gives us a real usp no yeah. one else has this yeah and to your point about the other caribbean destinations of course lots of cruise lines go to all these different destinations yes of course they yeah do. yeah and actually i think for the british audience they're all really interesting and super lovely yeah i think if you cruise a lot in america it becomes less about where you're going a little mm -hmm. bit about the ship more for our guests you've got the benefit of both you've got bucket list destinations i think we all grew up thinking i'd love to go to the caribbean yes and we take for granted that the vast majority haven't been. No. And it's, it, the islands are beautiful. They've got great beaches, phenomenal people, great shopping, great interest, great history. You get that, you then get perfect day, and you get the ship. It's the perfect combination, isn't it? You're so right as well, because, you know, um, the Caribbean was always something that, you know, 
the couple won on the biggest game show that used to be on Saturday night on ITV or something like yep. that. You know, it wasn't something that you and I did. Whereas these days, it, you know, it's it's great to be able to do this. There's your full itinerary uh, for this adventure then coming up in October. You've got other dates that you can take this as well from, from pretty much around now all the way through to April in 2026. Obviously, price varies by date, so talk to the team. Um, but you can also configure different packages you want. Longer in Orlando, shorter in Orlando. You want to go somewhere else first. You want to go straight to Miami. We can make all of that happen before you do the cruise. That's the great thing about what we do here at Cruise First. And rather than having to do all the arranging yourself, you can just literally hand all of that responsibility to us. Every penny that you spend is protected, of course, because we're under the umbrella of the Atoll and ABTA uh, protection as well, which is just superb. So if you want to do an experience like this and take advantage of the buying power that Cruise First have with the, uh, with the cruise lines as well, it really is perfect, perfect match made in heaven. So your offer for October includes the flight from the UK to Orlando, a week's hotel stay on International Drive there, so you can go and do all the parks and everything else. Then the train from Orlando down to Miami and a week on the biggest ship in the world, Icon of the Seas around the Caribbean. And of course, a perfect day at Coco Cay included. Here comes your price tag. I'll tell you what, this is good. This is so, so good at 2799 per person. Low deposits today, 349 each today as a deposit. You can get that locked in for you right now. So if you need something to look forward to, get the whole family together, friends that you holiday with, other families that you like to go away with, Let's get it done because we're here for a good time and not a long time, as we know. Here's the details if you want to upgrade as well on board the ship. They're amazing. And I always say on these ships, and I know I'm, I'm, I can almost feel everyone slapping my legs when I say it, but in terms of your accommodation, you spend very, very little time in your accommodation. They're all amazing. So whether you go for the best deal there at the interior or you upgrade to the highest of high suites, believe me, you will be doing, doing, doing the whole time while you're on a cruise like this because they are just simply amazing. Listen, before we go, a quick reminder of our competition because we've got a whole lot of Royal Caribbean goodies to give away and we would love you to win them as well. And all you've got to do is pop us in an email to studio at cruisefirst.tv and you could be winning all of the said goodies that you can see right now, including the must-have Monopoly set, the Royal Caribbean one as well, which is very, very difficult to Designed get hold of. Designed by me. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Absolutely. Ah. I think that must be the last one. I think I've got one. I thought oh, I had okay. the last one. Well, maybe we you, need you, you to you sign that. You must have it. <laughs> we need you to sign that as well, I think, then. Um, ben, Royal Caribbean, there's always another part to the story. There must be loads of things that you can't tell me right now, isn't there? Yeah, there's loads of things I can't tell you. There's probably a lot I can tell you, though, because, of course, we've got Icon's sibling, Star of the Seas, is on sale. Yes. So she will also be sailing in the Caribbean uh, from 2025. And rumours of number three. Yes, yes. A third, well. a third one is on its way. Um, don't mind saying that I'm, I'm working hard to try and manufacture a way for that to perhaps be a little closer to home. Yes, for, those, for those guests that perhaps don't want to fly quite so far, uh, maybe in 2026 you may see an Icon ship a little bit closer to home. Ben, we are, I'm afraid, out of time. You're going to have to come back, you know. Thank Any you. time. Thank Thanks you for so me. much. Thank Pleasure. you. My word, honestly, that show could have been three and a half hours and we still wouldn't have scratched the surface. Listen, talk to our team. Any questions you've got, we've got a hotline straight into Ben and his team as well. So get in touch right now. 0800 953 4700.